what's good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new wwe elite figure review on the brand new wwe elite top picks i think it's 2022 is it 2022 or 2021 i don't really know i it's one or the other all right we got the full set here today guys elite set wwe elite drew mcintyre ray mysterio roman reigns and john cena now i will say these are probably going to fill up your walmart and targets within like the next couple months like two or three months or so uh I would guess maybe the next six to eight weeks these should show up in your Walmarts and Targets and I hope that they're widely available because I think this is a pretty solid set. We won't know until we crack them all out of the packaging but if you guys would like to grab these you can grab them over at Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% but diving into it guys let's go ahead and take a look at the front viewing window here. Starting out first we do have Drew McIntyre here very nice looking figure in packaging you know again it, I, I hope none of these rot on the shelves. I don't think they will but you never really know with these top pick sets, man. Next up is Rey Mysterio in the Batman gear, looking nice there. We have a re-release of Roman Reigns right here, which looks really nice. And I think the gem of the set has to be the John Cena, man. I've been waiting on this hat and this shirt for so long, I can't even describe it. We also finally have our, our legitimate Doctor of Thugonomics Word Life hands, which are excellent. So, you know, you know the Cena mark in me, man, my, my goat right here. Adding this shirt and hat to I mean I already had the hat I've been trying to get people to make me that shirt for years for years and now we finally have it man so I'm super excited let's go ahead and crack all four of these guys out of the packaging and find out what this top pick set is all about thank god we don't have a Braun Strowman this year all right guys so here's the full wave out of the packaging Drew McIntyre Rey Mysterio Roman Reigns and John Cena like I was saying I'm super happy that Braun Strowman's not a, a part of this set I felt like even though you know he's sold out like every time you try to find one at retail I felt like his figure was always gone Finn Balor and AJ Styles were always the ones of the set that would just rot there, right? I mean, you could probably go in your Walmarts and Targets now and find top picks Finn Balor and AJ Styles, which is dumb. Well, not for AJ Styles, but the Finn Balor's been great for customs and everything like that. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive in now. I'm just going to go left to right and we'll cover everything about the figures now. So let's go ahead and start off with Drew McIntyre and let's start off with his accessories. So for the Drew McIntyre figure, guys, you do, uh, you do get the WWE Championship, which we've seen, you know, we've seen this a million times before nothing too crazy with it you know we've seen it you also get the claymore or the thigh slap hands or the throne sitting hands for drew mcintyre which is always great and then one thing that is awesome about this figure is we finally have the updated skin tone but in the pissed off head sculpt so you guys know that we do have the elite 83 figure it had the the witch slash smiling drew mcintyre which was kind of creepy to some people i thought it looked just like him but now we have the darker skin tone for drew mcintyre more accurate but it is in the pissed off head sculpt that we got on his Elite 70 figure, on his NXT figure, and I think even on another Drew McIntyre. So, this is really nice. I'm really happy to see this updated skin tone. I like this head sculpt. I don't I don't mind that it's a re-release because they updated the skin tone. You do get the chest hair here, and these tights are actually his Royal Rumble tights that he wore when he won the Royal Rumble to go on to win the WWE Championship. So, you got McIntyre on the back. Really nice purple, gray, and black graphics there. And you guys know the rest, right? I mean, Drew McIntyre's figures are pretty plain jane you get the black wrist tape black trunks with the details black knee pads and black wrestling boots but i like drew mcintyre i love the guy i think he's fantastic and i'm happy to have this updated version that's pissed off so that's really good if we move on to Rey mysterio guys we do get the same i'm pretty sure this is the same exact rubber accessory we got with his last two elites his elite 72 and his elite 69 figure i think both came with this so that's kind of crazy there for interchangeable hands you do get his fist so you get fisted glove hands in the black color and then for the hands out of the packaging he has these grabby hands that I actually like a lot. I've used them on AJ Styles before but getting into Rey Mysterio man really like this figure. It's basically you know in the top picks line what do they do right? They try to give you some figures like that they can re-release. They repaint them. They do a couple cool things in the wave and I think that's what they accomplished here. I think they did a really good job. I love this gear it's got like the kind of like caution sort of style going on with like the black and yellow stripes. Really looks good 
good. I like the yellow mohawk. The mask looks really good. This is the same head sculpt we got on the Elite 72 figure, and the Elite 72 Rey Mysterio was one of the better figures of the year, so they could re-release that figure two or three more times just in different gear, and I'd probably buy it because his figures are so damn fun to collect and do fix-ups and swappages and freaking surgery. We're probably going to do surgery on the full wave, so I guess we'll have to see about that, see where that goes. Probably have to wait until we get a few more in hand, but I like all the details, man. You get these great yellow and black armbands. You get the gauntlets. You get the black and yellow going around. It says Ray 619 on the other side. It should say greatest mask of all time. Yeah, same sort of like caution pattern going down. I'm pretty sure he wore like Batman gloves in this match. I want to say this is from a Royal Rumble. I, can't, I could be wrong about that. I know it looks like his return gear. It's not his return gear, but I think like a couple years later, like Royal Rumble 2020, he wore this. I could be wrong though. I don't, I don't know about that, but the black and yellow looks really sick. I really like the way it looks, and he does have the black boots on there with the graphics. I don't know, man. Just Rey Mysterio figures hit different, man. If you if you pose these guys around, if you're a Rey Mysterio fan or figure fan of him, he, his figures just hit different, bro. There's no doubts about it. Anybody that knows, you just know. If we move on to the big dog, the Roman Reigns here, this is an exact re-release of the Elite 84. So we do get his vest here with the white graphic. We also get his hang loose hands, which are always synonymous with our Roman Reigns. We also get our choke slammy hands. I don't know why certain guys get choke slammy hands and certain guys get mic holding hands, but it's a whole deal. Roman Reigns gets that, and uh, for some reason, Finn Balor comes with that. And his uh, last two, he actually comes with a lot of accessories, but you get the Wreck Everyone and Leave t-shirt, which is always nice, and then you get the interchangeable head sculpt with the man bun. And for some reason, this one looks a little bit better than my others. It doesn't look as goofy, but I love the man bun head sculpt. That is just so good. Uh, I, the only complaints I have is like the haircut and like the beard. I wish it was a little bit thicker and you had like a light, you know, a nice little fade going, but I'm not going to complain too much. We've seen the Wreck Everyone and Leave t-shirt before with the Elite 84 Roman Reigns. He's got his removable gauntlets. It's the best Roman they've released so far, so I don't really have a problem with them re-releasing it. I mean, if anything, maybe make a, you know, a slight change. They probably could have updated the gauntlet, but you have that updated Elite coming very soon. And then, you know, head sculpts. Again, it, it's the top picks wave. They're just trying to get some re-releases out there, some figures that are, they know are going to sell well and this is a great line for that. Top guys in the company that are going to sell. Roman Reigns, the big dog. This figure is going to fly off shelf, so they didn't have to touch it. I mean, there was no point in it. It looks damn amazing. Head sculpt looks great. T-shirt looks great. The shield gear, you know how it is. The Romans are fire, and, you know, he's the best thing going in wrestling right now. I mean, maybe a, a universal title would have been great, but I don't, I don't have any problems, man. It's a Roman Reigns. What do you want? He absolutely murders it. And last in the set, guys, we have the one that I was most looking forward to, and that is going to be John Cena. Now, for his accessories, again, I have been waiting on this combination forever, man. The Word Life Hat, the Doctor of Thugonomics Word Life Hat. Now, I do have a custom of this in my collection, but seeing it here from Mattel is just insane. I'm so happy to have this. Hopefully, this figure will be easy to come by. But we have the Word Life Hat there in the classic baseball style. And then you also get this Word Life shirt, which is just, oh, man, the baseball tee with the Word Life gray. Graphic. Again, I tried so many times to get customizers to make me this shirt. They refused to do so. They they were like, you know, I can't do the half color and half graphic, and uh, I can't, uh, and they couldn't do it, man. They couldn't do it, and finally finally I've gotten it. So that is just beautiful to see. I'm going to put this on the figure because I got to know what it looks like. Uh, he also comes with his with his freaking word life chain, which is just great. I mean, dude, this is just freaking excellent. I've been waiting on this today. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh my God in heaven. Look how beautiful this is, man. That is just beautiful. The only thing I'd say is like, I know he wore black wristbands sometimes, but I would have liked to seen the word life wristbands. Not a big deal. I mean, this figure is a re-release of the defining moment moments John Cena with the uh, Decade of Domination head it looks like and they just touched it up a little bit and finally gave him the uh, you know the word like hands which are just oh my god the pinky sticking out I had to have like a long discussion with a guy in the DM saying that this was a re-release and telling him that we have gotten this pinky hand before the word life hands and he was incorrect Brad you gotta challenge me anyways you also get the word life nux because it wouldn't be Doctor of Thugonomics without it but that is your John Cena man again it is you know it's got the same Lucy goosey ankles that are garbage. I wish they would redesign these because they're just, I mean, dude, he probably won't even stand. Let's see. Let's test him. Okay, okay. You're passing for now, but at the same time, man, this figure is elite. I'm so happy. It actually is elite, though. That's
that's what's funny is it is an elite figure but damn bro what a long day it is i've been waiting for this for so long and finally we have it the only thing that's garbage is that uh you guys know with single jointed arms his uh freaking hands aren't gonna go together so that's gonna be just terrific that is oh my god man look at this i mean it'll be close it'll be close but the ultimate cena would destroy that somebody use the ultimate cena and put these together and then make a sick ass photo but i think that is gonna wrap up our top talents elite figure review on this on this set right here and if you guys were wondering if the brass knucks go on this hand i want to say they do but uh i'm having a little bit of trouble there so maybe they don't all right so i put it on there but you got to be super Super careful because if this falls it's going to snap off like it's going to fly across the room because it's kind of like you know it's got some pressure going on in there but that pretty much does it for your full top talents elite wave man overall i think it's pretty solid i think it'd be a good video to like compare all the different top talents waves but i'd say this is a very solid top talents wave like especially compared to uh, the last few years i'd say this is pretty good i mean if i had it my way i might replace drew or roman with jeff hardy or something but i like this wave i think it's great. I think all four figures are great. Highly recommend to get it. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Had a ton of fun with this set. I think it's great posing them around. So excited to have this John Cena. I can't recommend that enough, but I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like uh, those customized that wouldn't make me the damn shirt. Who made it now? You crossed the line, I've been